I'm Joy Joyce, and I'm happy to be a um, Books and Breakfast volunteer at Kingsley on Monday. I come with Mr. Chris, and we miss seeing all of you. So it's really nice to have a chance to record a book for you. I picked a book that was in our children's collection, and it's called The Runaway Bunny. It's a sweet story, so whatever age you are, you could enjoy this book. Now let's see. The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. And the picture is by Clement Hurd. Okay. The Runaway Bunny. Oh, the pictures are so nice in this book. And I'll show you this one. And I'll read a little bit. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. We have a bunny that lives in our yard. We see that bunny almost every day. It's a little bunny, a little brown bunny. Very, very cute. Some of the pictures in this book are in color, and some are in black and white. If you run after me, said little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. And there's the mom. Do you think she would catch him in the stream? Maybe next to it. Ha, this is funny. Can you see what she's fishing with? Yes, it's something that bunnies like a lot. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will become a mountain climber and I will climb to wherever you are. And look at what a hat she has and a backpack to go all the way up this mountain path to find her little butt. I can see the bunny in here, but it might be hard for you to see it because that little bunny is so well camouflaged. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. Maybe you've been out to see some crocuses. They're coming up now. We're not in school but we can be outdoors sometimes and look and see the little flowers coming up. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be the gardener and I will find you. Ooh, here comes the gardener. And look at the garden she needs to look through to find her little bunny in the crocus. I think I can see the little bunny. Can you? If you are a gardener and you find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. And here is the bird flying away. And here is the mother bunny becoming a tree. Wouldn't it be fun to see a, bit, a tree sculpted like a bunny? If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat 
and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. Ooh, this is a good picture. You could see the boat and you can see the mother bunny as the wind. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, says his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. Ooh, have you ever wanted to be a tightrope walker? I could do that down near the ground, but not high up above. And look at this. That mother bunny is pretty fancy. So what's gonna happen to little bunny? Is he going to get to run away? Doesn't sound like his mom wants him to run away, does it? If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. And here's what his mom says. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and I will catch you in my arms and hug you. And there is the happy ending to this story of the runaway bunny. This is a time when we're all staying at home and we're being careful around people, even people we love. And this story ends with a hug. And I look forward to a time when Books and Breakfast has all its friendly people back together again. Sending you a hug. Bye.